Digital youth work has the same goals and ethics as youth work in general. We should be using digital media and technology to support these goals. What is youth work for? Enabling and empowering young people to do the things they want to do together and individually. Providing young people with opportunities to experience and gain autonomy. Supporting young people to have healthy and safe opportunities for leisure and recreation that they can enjoy. Empowering young people to change things they think need to be changed in their immediate surroundings and society. Promoting and helping young people to engage with power and policy. Providing young people with relevant and engaging non-formal education opportunities that improve their competences and life opportunities. Digital youth work should be a learning experience and be built on processes that make it possible to achieve the goals of youth work. Using this definition, we can explore the following questions with regards to digital youth work. What is the added value of using digital technology in youth work? What happens in the process? Does the work primarily take place at an individual, group or community level? What are the goals of the activity? Who and how does the activity benefit? What outcomes will the activity produce for young people and in their relationships with peers, adults, services and society? Processes are not shaped in a vacuum and digital youth work is no exception to this rule. They are influenced by the existing history, traditions and beliefs of youth work. Another way for us to look at goals for digital youth work is through the five pillars of youth work. The democracy pillar points to the role of youth work in giving young people a stronger capacity to act as citizens. The pedagogy pillar refers to the fact that youth work activities should strengthen the growth of young people and support their abilities. The public health pillar reflects the extent to which youth work has focused on supporting healthy life choices. The cultural pillar points to the need for youth work to take the aesthetic needs of young people into consideration and help them find ways of expressing themselves. The social policy pillar emphasises the need for youth work to positively shape and influence social challenges. Digital youth work involves learning new approaches, considering new environments, devices and becoming acquainted with diverse digital technologies with YouthWorks goals essentially being educational, not technological. Our focus should be on the process of digital youth work, setting clear educational goals and evaluating them. So, how can you define goals for digital youth work? Select one youth work goal and think of new ways of achieving it through digital media and technology. Align digital youth work activities to the goals set. Establish indicators to evaluate success of achieving goals.